In relation to your statements as far as Mexican immigration go, I'd like to make the following comment, and that is that it seems to me that Mexican immigrants have a choice between, on one hand, staying in Mexico and getting what life they can, which to me seems like trying to evade starvation as long as possible, or crossing the river and then taking the job that they have available. And what I'm wondering is, is this choice a choice at all, and is it not equivalent to the gun against the head that you were talking about as absent from the Who's free... Who's holding the gun? The capitalists in Southern California who own the... On the contrary, it's a ma in your image, it would be the Mexicans who are holding the gun. Well, Because what denies them the opportunity in Mexico? There aren't enough capitalists in Mexico, I suppose. To... <laughs> <laughs> Not enough jobs available. Obviously, they have two bad choices. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that one isn't better than the other. Well, and yeah, you I must agree. distinguish sharply between the, uh, uh, somebody giving you a choice, uh, which is not a very satisfactory one, and somebody imposing something on you. Nobody is holding a gun to the head of these people and saying they should come to California. They are coming there because they believe they can have a better life for themselves and their children. They, they can have a better one, yes, but is it a life, or as you said yourself, no American would, would like to do these jobs. No, it's so not that no American would like to. Many Americans would be perfectly willing to if that were their only alternatives, but the Americans have better opportunities. Fine. How did the Americans get to have those opportunities? By being American citizens, is that was the point no, you're No, no, by initially going through stages similar to that which the Mexicans are going through. So they didn't, they, you know, people don't come full blown into the world. The nations don't come full blown into the world with skills and capital and so on. That all has to be derived through a long historical process. I agree. And what's the alternative? If you say, well, we're willing to have the Mexicans in only if they can be supported at the level at which the Americans are supported, then you're condemning them to stay in Mexico. Mm -hmm. But isn't so it true? So don't, uh, don't hurt them in order to help them. Isn't it true that the, that the wine growers in Southern California would prefer to have these Mexicans working at this at the rate they are working at, then they would to have Americans come in and demand higher wages because, the, because of the alternatives they had. They would they prefer had. to pay lower wages rather than higher wages. You'd like to pay lower prices for the things you buy rather than higher prices. Of course, that's the whole system. That's exactly the system. And you say, if you say to the, if you say to the Mexicans, you may not offer to work for lower wages, then you're denying them the only weapon they have.